All right, Justin, what you getting done today, bro? I want to get like a high blowout here on the sides and the back. Okay. I guess like a four on the sides, but I kind of wanted to blend in, like blend into the curls, and I kind of want the curls to be like trimmed up, even up. Okay. I, just I just don't want them to hang over, you know? You don't want them to hang over. Okay, I see yeah. what you're saying. But you want like a four. It's probably not going to curl. No, I, 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 I could care less about the curls on the sides. Okay, cool, cool. Just you just want to make sure that it, that the curls don't hang over, that they actually connect. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. And then uh, high taper, you said, right? Mm -hmm. Cool, man. Other than that's going to look good. And then even out the, the top, right? Yes, please. All right, let's do it, bro. Thanks for coming through, man. Most well, definitely. YouTube, what is going on, guys? We are going to start off this cut with this coily, curly hair um, by trimming the top. And so you can see I started in the middle. That's my guideline. And we're going to trim the right side, then trim the left side. And I'm just doing pretty much low tension. I'm letting the hair the hair kind of spring back to its, its natural form. You can see I'm, I kind of tease it a little bit just to see how it looks once it's cut and because ultimately curls have a life of their own so you just want to make sure that it looks good it sits nice on top so we did we did the trim all the way through now we're running a number four on the sides as i get closer to the parietal ridge what i like to do is go with the grain and that does a good job of kind of connecting the curls to the sides to that number four against the grain and then later on i'll show you guys how to really connect the curls to this clipper work we did here on the sides now the reason why i'm dropping um, a little bit behind in the back is to make sure the crown is full above the occipital bone and we're really preparing this number four all the way through we're going to comb everything out and then get ready to give them a nice taper All right, guys, so now we're starting off with the clipper all the way closed. I'm not going to go with the trimmers first, I'm trying something different. Once we've done that, that, that clipper closed, we'll go clipper open, and then we'll go ahead and start to take out, go not take out the line, but blend out this section. Next step, we're going with a number one guard all the way open. And then from here, we're going to start to fade down with this number three guard because we already used a number four. Then we're going to stack these guards fading down to open to close one and a half guard one one guard you guys get you guys get what i'm saying you can follow along in the color guide on the bottom left corner here i always like to go behind the ear and make sure that it's nice and tight behind the ear that way we can get it ready for a nice clean line and again right beneath every single step every single guard where you know so at so Underneath this one and a half guard, look, we went to that one guard open right beneath it. We know where that subtle guideline is, it's going to be taken out by this half guard. So as long as you give yourself enough space to, to, to work all those guards, knowing that that half guard would be the last guard that takes out that bottom line, you're going to be in a good place. All right, so I, um, we were talking about what we were gonna do with his facial hair. He's like, "Bro, do whatever you want." I'm like, "Man, let's let's just go ahead and cut it off." Um, I, I, while while I did that, bro, I gave him some inspiration. I just let him know, "Hey, I started I started where you're at. Your age, I had less hair." <laughs> All right, so same thing back here. We're doing the same steps, but this is a high taper, so keep that into consideration with this back taper it's not for everybody but i think it, it looked good and gradient with this particular haircut that he's getting we did the exact same steps at this point we're fading down or oh, actually we didn't do the exact same steps what do you guys see here that i skipped well if you said i didn't take out i didn't um, blend that bottom section first you would be correct so I totally forgot to do that step. It, it, to me, it is easier to go ahead and blend 
um, that section between the clipper close and the clipper open first and then blend down from that three guard down but I don't know what happened I just had a, a lapse of judgment or something I wasn't thinking and I skipped it but on I believe on the other side of the taper I go back to that method All right, so here you can see we're starting to blend out that bottom line. I'm going clipper a notch open and then halfway open. And then by the time I'm all the way open, we should be good to go. I may need to clean something up with the half guard here and there. That's okay. That's totally normal as you can see. Um, but that's typically the system. guys so again we're starting behind the ear lowering that sum um, and boom we're going straight to the clipper close then the clipper open we're gonna go ahead and start to take out this section um, once once we've created our next section with the one guard open these are just guys to keep you organized so now we have these two sections in place we're going clipper and notch open and then halfway open and by the time we're all the way open this section should be blended All right, and now just like the other side, we're gonna grab that number three guard because remember we started with a four and we're gonna start to stack these guards and blend down. Again, all stacking is, is following every guard in order um, from, from highest guard to lowest and going right beneath each other with these guards. So now we're at the two guard closed, then one, one and a half guard open right beneath where we just left off, one and a half guard closed, Number one open, number one close if you feel like you need it, and then the half guard should finish the job. Then you could just blend uh, detail. Uh oh, Marvin, Marvin, the, Marvin, Marvin, the background. I was, I was listening to the Barber Session um, podcast. It's live right now on YouTube. If you ain't following the Barber Session podcast, you are sleeping. It's on YouTube, on the Christian Perez's uh, YouTube page, or pretty much any any podcast, any podcast uh, platform. All right, so I don't spend a lot too much time detailing here because we got to detail once it's lined up once we can really see everything uh, in a frame all right went ahead and erased those uh those sideburns So what I did there with the trimmer was just knock out some some bulk that was kind of covering what I was trying to see, um, and because of his hair growth patterns, it was it was a little tough on that side. All right, so here, this is just new growth. This is this was already like this. I'm just lowering it down again, and we're gonna line it up. If you notice, what I'm lining up is not a pushback. It's not a pushback. There's no follicles there. This is what you guys want me to do. And that's not that's what I'm not gonna do. We're not gonna make his forehead look like that. Look at that look, he laughing. Like this is what they want me to do, but that's not his hairline. And it just doesn't suit his face right, man. Doesn't look good. You don't always have to keep everything like you guys get what I'm saying. <laughs> 
he was dying when I did that. I, like, I just want to point out, like, because this is what people want me to do. This is what we're not going to do. There's no follicles. There's no hair stubble there. We didn't push back his hairline. We're literally just lining up fringe. All right, so now that we have a hairline, we can really detail the cut and see what, what we have here. So that's why I like it's hard to stay disciplined and not stay in a spot for too long. But that's why I, I, I was saying what I was saying. Excuse me. All right, we're going ahead and knocking all that hair out, lining up my favorite part of the cut. And we are enhancing the cut. A little bit goes a long way. So now we're going to connect all these curls and what I'm doing is I'm grabbing from the recession to pretty much the curvature of the head. I'm pulling everything to the longest length on the sides and I'm just doing block graduation to connect it. It's curls so it doesn't have to be perfect but you can see right away it connected very nicely. There's not going to be any whole overhang no matter how he styles his hair and I think we've achieved the look that he was he was looking for. I could tell you by the end of the cut, he said this is the best cut I've ever had in my life. I wish I would have recorded it. But you know why I don't record? I used to record the reaction at the end, but it would get awkward because you're kind of like, you know, the, the you know the you're kind of forcing a reaction, and and so you know I've been thinking about like hitting cameras or something like that, um, but. We haven't we haven't implemented that just yet. All right, put that razor on him. You guys know this is a must. And guys, just so you know, man, he is a barber. He drove quite a quite a distance to come get a cut man so i just want to say i appreciate that bro and anybody else who wants to book an appointment please do link will be in the description for that and also the 245 academy schedule is right here for december i'll be updating you guys every video with um every month's schedule that doesn't include bonus content and all that content is saved all right so here's the before guys Look at that after. It's funny because the left side of the taper looked dark from the right side because of lighting, but you can see from this angle, it is lightened on that left side. And that's the shape right there that I like. That front view, you can see the shape, the curl sitting right, nothing overhanging. I thought that was a dope cut. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Guys, we drop daily content. I will see y'all tomorrow.